What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here. I wanted to uh, make this video real quick and talk to you guys about some information I just came across that may or may not be true, but uh, I'm kind of leaning toward the possibility that, that this information is uh, partly at least true, just based on the, the way that it's presented. Of course there will be a link in the description for you guys to look at this, uh, this JPEG of this document from E3 2014. Now this document is uh, detailing and chronicling the E3, the entire show, showing uh, every game that's going to be shown during the live press events and the games that will be playable for uh, Microsoft and Sony as well as Nintendo during E3. And I want to go through this list with you guys. <clears throat> I went through it myself a few minutes ago and looked at it and I got to say that I'm really pleased and impressed uh, with some of these games coming out for for these new consoles, I'm really impressed with Microsoft. Believe it or not, uh, if this is true, it's going to be a really exciting event. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff shown that's going to blow minds, I'm sure. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and go through this list with you now, starting with Microsoft because it does start at 9:30 uh, a.m. Pacific time. Uh, the list details these games. These games are are actually going to be shown by Microsoft. And uh, if this is true, it's going to be a really good E3. I'm going to start off now with Beyond Good and Evil 2. Beyond Good and Evil Part 1 uh, has a huge cult following. People love the game. Uh, it's been heavily uh, speculated on that this game was in development now for many years. And uh, this is going to be gameplay as per this leak. This is actually a leaked document from E3. So if this is real, look for Beyond Good and Evil 2 to be shown uh, as actual gameplay for the Xbox One. Next is going to be a Direct X12 trailer. So they got a trailer that's going to be detailing and showing just how much uh, the Direct X capabilities 12 will be uh, vamping up the Xbox One's graphical prowess, hopefully uh, improving frame rate and uh, video game functionality. So that will be a trailer. Uh, moving on, we got Fable Legends gameplay. So you know, Fable is another one of those games. For me, Fable has been on a downward decline since uh, Fable One and Fable Two. But uh, Fable Legends, uh, they're going to be showing gameplay for the Xbox One. If you're into Fable Legends, I mean Fable, the the actual brand, look for that uh, for the Xbox One. Forza Horizon Two, they're going to be showing gameplay of that, and that's more Forza. You know what what to expect there. The big draw here. As it is not, you know, restricted to just tracks only. It's more open world. You get to, you know, drive off road and do all kinds of things like that. One of the big things for Microsoft that I'm seeing here, and please go to the link, check it out yourself. Comment down there and let me know what you think about this list. Gears of War 4. Gears of War, um, the original game, really changed the landscape of what a video game could look like when the Xbox 360 uh, came out. I remember um, wanting a PS3 at the time. And uh, seeing Gears of War, I don't think I had a PS3. I was kind of late to the PS3 party. But I saw Gears of War, and I was like, oh, God. This looks ridiculous. And uh, from what I'm hearing, they're looking to do the same thing with the Xbox One as far as graphical prowess. Gears of War 4 is going to be actual gameplay, so it's not going to be a CG or anything like that. Uh, you'll be able to see exactly what the game is going to be all about. So that's going to be hella exciting. I'm, I'm really happy to see that. Followed by Halo 5. Halo 5, of course, we're talking about the Guardians now. And uh, that's going to be a tech demo, probably showing off the world, uh, you know, the, the the landscape, character design, animation, um, you know, motion capture, things like that. So look for that Halo 5 tech demo as well. This is one I'm kind of on the, the fence about, Connect TV and Shows trailer. That's the name of it, Connect TV and Shows. I have no idea what this is. Just like you, uh, I'm thinking, why the hell would they be more, you know, pushing TV and, and shows uh, on people who have kind of gotten away from, you know, the whole idea of TV and wanting to go back to the games. So we'll see what, what they do here. Hopefully it's something that, that at least piques the interest of, you know, the masses of Xbox One owners out there. Connect TVs and TV and shows. Now they got an Xbox One with no connect, so who knows how that goes. They will be showing gameplay of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for the Xbox One. So a lot of people want to see that. That's going to be a big draw for, for the uh, you know the E3 press conference for Microsoft. 
Uh, I love Call of Duty. I'm really, I really enjoyed all of them. Uh, Ghost is probably one of my least favorites. Really looking forward to this one. So we'll see what happens at E3. Quantum Break gameplay. Quantum Break is, is supposed to be something awesome. We've seen some trailers, you know, some uh, full motion video type trailers. I don't know what to expect from it. I, I'm not really expecting anything at this point because, uh, you know, they don't show us what the game is going to be all about. They don't show us, you know, if it's going to be riveting, if it's going to be something that draws you into the experience as well as watching this TV show that coincides with it. So until we learn a little bit more about that, I'm not as excited. I'm not saying I'm not, I don't think it's a potentially great game. It's just right now, I don't know. The big news, I mean, Microsoft is really hitting them out the park if this is true. If this, this leak is real, Microsoft is killing it. Star Wars Battlefront 3 gameplay. Uh, so if that's real, um, it's going to be a, a, just a huge ball of news. It's going to be a huge boulder on fire coming at Sony. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, who doesn't know what Battlefront is? Great game. I mean, I played it on PSPs. I, I just love Battlefront. And it's, it's about time for a new Star Wars game. So we'll see if that game, it's going to be gameplay. We'll see if that actually happens at E3. If it does, it'll be exciting. And then the last thing they're going to be showing, as per this leak, is new Titanfall DLC gameplay. So more Titanfall, you know, more parkour, more, you know, uh, exciting um, jump mechanics and, and jetpacks and, of course, Titans. So look forward to that. Now, the games that are going to be actually playable during the Xbox conference are Dragon Age Inquisition for the Xbox One. EA Sports, which had Bruce Lee in it, uh, Fable Legends, FIFA 15, that will be playable for the 360 and the Xbox One, F uh, Forza Horizon 2, Killer Instinct, so this is going to be something new, a new Killer Instinct, Madden NFL 15, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, NHL 15 for the 360 and the Xbox One, Project Spark, which is supposed to be something really awesome, we'll see, Sunset Overdrive and Quantum Break, so that's the Microsoft lineup here. Uh, and hopefully it, it it knocks you know the ball out of the park. It looks like if these games are actually shown, a lot of these people didn't even think of Beyond uh, Good and Evil. You know that's something that people have wanted for a long time, but no one has ever. I haven't heard anybody say that they'd see it at E3. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. It looks like it'll be a fun fun event. Now moving on to PlayStation. PlayStation 4 it has less games, and uh, kind of shocked by that. But hey, you know it is what it is. Destiny for the PlayStation 4 is going to be playable. So, of course, we know that from the team that brought us Halo and, and, and really uh, cut their teeth creating that world and that mechanic, uh, we actually going to get gameplay of Destiny and see finally what we're going to get before the game launches this year. Drive Club is going to be a trailer, which is a little disappointing. I'm not a racing fan, so I'm not going to pretend to be one. But Drive Club is getting a trailer. And that really doesn't draw you into the experience the way that actually seeing the game and, and seeing the functionality of the game would do. So that's kind of a, a thumbs down for Sony there because that game was already delayed and people are wanting it. And uh, a trailer at this point, this late in the game, I feel like is kind of selling it short. God of War 4 for Sony PlayStation 4. It's not going to be gameplay as per this leak here. Uh, it says it's going to be CGI. So um, <clears throat> it's an announcement. Hopefully it's not an announcement of a game that will be released in 2016, 2017, because that's what E3 has become synonymous with. Early uh, leaks of games, and you get them many, many years later. Uh, indie Games trailer for the PlayStation 3, the 4, and the Vita. So I don't know if this is just a, a collection of indies, or if it'll be just a whole segment dedicated to the indie, indie devs, showing us what they've been creating for these three platforms, so who knows. Um, Infamous Second Son DLC will be uh, it'll be gameplay for the PS4. I think that's pretty good. Um, Infamous, I have not been playing. I haven't played it in weeks. Um, there's nothing left to do. I mean, and I'm not the, one of the guys who wants to platinum it or you know collect everything or destroy all the the DUP. I just want to have fun playing the game. And once the story ended for me, the story ended. So hopefully, DLC will come along. That's decent and keeps us entertained. The Order 1886 is going to have gameplay shown at the show. The game looks phenomenal. I mean, what more can we say about it? The people who've seen the game know that the game does look next gen. You definitely can't do that on anything, you know, seventh generation. And uh, hopefully the game stands up to the graphics. I mean, I don't want a game that looks phenomenal and it's just a bullshit game. If you can have a game that looks like The Order 1886, but it feels as fresh and new and 
you know, as revolutionary as like Resident Evil 4, hey, I'm all for it. But if it, if it turns out to be just a mediocre third-person shooter, I'm going to be very disappointed. This is the big news for PlayStation. Uncharted 4, The Sunken Blade, that's the name of it. As per this leak, Uncharted 4, The Sunken Blade will show a tech demo. Now, I heard previously that they were going to get like a three-minute in-engine uh, demo of this game. And I don't know if this is actually that demo, but uh, I'm leaning towards, yes, a three-minute, you know, trailer of what the game is actually going to look like and what the in-engine stuff is. So everybody knows that we're all looking forward to seeing Drake and all his PlayStation 4 glory. Uncharted revolutionized the PS3. Uh, the studio's going through a lot right now with the loss of some of the, the originators. But uh, I, I have full confidence in Naughty, uh, Naughty Dog and that they can make an awesome Uncharted 4 for PS4. And uh, Watch Dogs uh, DLC for the PS4. So that's, that's really, uh, as per this leak, that's what Sony has as far as their show. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't say anything about uh, a potential Fallout 4, which is depressing for either console. It doesn't say anything about The Last Guardian. So um, if this is, you know, totally true, it doesn't say anything about Kingdom Hearts. It doesn't say anything about Final Fantasy. So um, this tr this leak, I don't know how old this leak is, but I'm leaning towards saying at least one of the three that I just mentioned is going to be there. Uh, I don't know about an, um, an Elder Scrolls game. I'm leaning more towards Fallout because it just feels like it's time for a new Fallout. Uh, and I'm excited about Fallout. I think that, you know, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy XV, those games need to be at least talked about or shown on some level. And uh, we'll see what happens. Now, the games that will be playable on the PlayStation side of things will be Alien Isolation. That will be playable for the PS3 and PS4. Batman Arkham Knight, which I don't know. Uh, that game was just pushed back, so more than likely you won't be able to play that game uh, at E3 this year because it got pushed back until next year. Destiny will be playable for the PS4. Discia 4 will be playable for the Vita. Drive Club will be playable for the PS4, even though they're showing a... a, a trailer at E3. EverQuest Next, which I'm optimistic about, cautiously optimistic. One of the first MMOs I ever played was EverQuest, and I want to see EverQuest kind of come back and take the, the role of the, you know, the king of the top of the hill, you know, as far as MMOs go, and if they're able to get this on PS4 and make it look awesome and people want to play it, I'm super stoked for that. Uh, Hatsune Miki, Project Diva. Uh, and I, don't, I have no idea what that is, but that'll be uh, playable um, for the Vita. Lords of the Fallen will be playable for the PS4. I've never heard of that. Nocturnal Doctrine will be playable for the Vita. Planet Side 2 will be playable for the PS4. The Order 1886 will be playable. Alter Street Fighter 4 for the PS3 will be playable. And the new Watch Dogs DLC will be playable. Now, uh,. I don't know. It, it all depends on how it goes, but from just that information alone, Microsoft will win E3 2014 uh, just based on these games. Uh, a lot of the stuff for the Sony side we already knew or speculated on. The stuff from Microsoft side is really eye-opening and optimistic. And if, it, if this is in any way true, Microsoft could very well walk away with E3 2014. Now, we all know that Nintendo... Excuse the kids outside. I don't, I don't, they're not mine. Uh, Nintendo is not going to be doing uh, E3 as far as the big conference, but they're doing a Nintendo Direct, and they will be present at E3, but they're not doing a press conference. And uh, so this this leaked article does state that Nintendo will not be doing any live, you know, show or on the big stage, but they will have games playable. And the games that they have playable, two of these games, super excited about, and I'm sure a lot of you will be too, and I know one of them, none of you are expecting Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U is going to be playable, and that's good because the Wii U needs games for people older than 6. The one that I'm really super excited about is the next title, but I'm going to say that to the end of this. Uh, Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U, which is the new uh, Link game, Legend of Zelda game. It's like Dynasty Warriors. It looks pretty fun. Who knows how well this is going to be implemented for the Wii U, but it's a new take on an old franchise, and I'm, I'm happy to see them doing something new with something old. Uh, Mario Kart 8 will be playable. Uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate will be available for the 3DS to play. Uh, Pocken Fighters for the Wii U. Sonic Boom will be available for 3DS and the Wii U. Super Smash Bros. U will be available for the Wii U. 
Super Smash Bros. 3D will be available for the 3DS. Uh, a Final Fantasy Curtain Call will be available for 3DS. Uh, Xenogears Origins will be available for the Wii U. And the, the last two that I'll mention on this leaked uh, information, this leaked um, JPEG is The Legend of Zelda Shard of Nightmare. That's the name. Legend of Zelda Shard of Nightmare for the Wii U will be playable and Castlevania Symphony of the Night 2 for the Nintendo 3DS. So that the, the, that's the one that got me more excited than anything. Castlevania Symphony of the Night 2, get out of here, take my money right now. Uh, of course for the Nintendo, uh, you know, we'd like to see some, some other franchises potentially come back. Uh, and who knows exactly what they're going to do. I think with Mario Kart 8 selling so well, Nintendo is really going to probably bear down and focus on the games. If this is the actual list, I am a little disappointed in Sony. Uh, I'm happy to hear about God of War and Uncharted, but I feel like there's a lot more that could be done and said uh, by Sony. You know, when you get so far ahead, you kind of lose track of your real goal and you, you become complacent. And I want them to continue to fight hard for the, the money and, and, and the loyalty of the consumer. You guys let me know what you think about this article. It'll be in the links in the, in the comment section below. So go ahead and click on the link, check it out. Come back and let me know what you think about it and what you would like to see at E3 2014. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.